Today, how many editions of Assassin's Creed 3 are there? Set aside an afternoon and we'll tell you. Welcome to Checkpoint. Where, thanks to I.O., it's apparently being presented in mucus vision this week. <laughs> Watch out PS3 and Xbox, a startup company called Ouya is looking to challenge console dominance with a $99 Android-based console where all the games will be free to play. Sounds great. I can't think of anything console gamers will want more than games they could already play on their phone, blow up to a big weird ratio on their TV, nickel and diming them through in-app purchases. It's a winner. Quick question. Who said this? We've extensively tested for false positive situations. We've not found any situations that could produce a false positive. We are extremely confident in our findings. Was it CERN when they found the Higgs boson? Nope. It was Blizzard when they got accused of carpet banning Linux users from Diablo 3 just because Linux isn't officially supported. As it turns out, they didn't ban all Linux users, just the ones who were cheating. When will you learn to accept Blizzard as the benevolent dictator they are? They shall not judge you, lest you take them in vain. South Korea's Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, which has purview over video games, and I think in Korea that falls under culture, has ruled that games like StarCraft and League of Legends must have parental control so that kids' playtime can be limited. And the rest of the world rejoiced. Rumor has it that Vivendi is trying to spin off Activision Blizzard into its own company so they can sell it off because... They don't want the risk, I guess? Unfortunately for Vivendi, Activision is doing so well that basically no one can afford to buy it. Let's look at a list of possible buyers. The Sultan of Brunei. He's got plenty of space in that 1800-room palace. The Ghost of Steve Jobs. Uh, wait, no, what would he need with Blizz Activision? He's a ghost. Uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation? They could turn them all into educational titles. Lich King teaches typing, anybody? I think you're going to have to face it, Vivendi. Ablis's strong profits have made them too difficult to sell, and you're stuck with them. Woe is you. There's a new version of Final Fantasy VII coming out. Eee! Sort of, for the PC. Eee? It's the same game that already came out on PC in 1998, but it adds a few new things in order to squeeze more dollars from your wallet, uh, enhance the experience. The new, new version of Final Fantasy VII comes with cloud saves, achievements, and character boosters that will instantly top up your hit points, magic points, and gill, presumably through micropayments. Who doesn't want to pay full price to play a classic game again, and then pay more to remove all challenge and difficulty from the experience? I want to buy Assassin's Creed 3, but I'm not sure what bonuses I want with it. Kathleen, can you help? I sure can. All right. Obviously, if I want to just buy the game, I can, but that's boring. What if I want a steel case, a collector's box, a copy of George Washington's secret notebook, a figure of Connor, an exclusive lithograph, an exclusive single-player mission, and a multiplayer character? We can do that. Okay. What if we lose the steel case, the figure, and the lithograph, and add in an Assassin's Creed medallion and replace the single-player mission with a different mission? We have that, too. Okay, okay. What about this? Lose the medallion and the multiplayer character, but give me different packaging and yet another different single-player mission. Also doable, but all three of those editions, Europe only. Dang! Well, there is an international edition that comes with the Assassin's Creed Encyclopedia and a graphic novel. Hmm, alright, alright. What if I live in North America, only play consoles, and want an edition that has that figurine from before, a 28 by 48 embroidered colonial flag, a fancy logo belt buckle, and one of the single-player missions from one of the European editions? We have that. But, what if I'm a PC gamer and I don't want the figure or the flag or the buckle, but I do want the weird Washington's Notebook thing, all three single-player missions from the European ones, two multiplayer characters, and a soundtrack? Well, you drive a hard bargain. But yes. Wait, what if I want to go digital? Can I get the game all by itself, or with a season pass, or with the Vita game, or with both? Yes. Can I get a limited edition that comes with a kitten? Yes. Really? No. Uh, well, well, way to drop the ball, Ubisoft. Hey, believe you me, if I was in charge of this, the limited edition would come with a kitten with the Assassin's Creed logo in its fur. Well, I guess I'll just have to choose from one of these other ten editions. It'll have to do, Graham. Coming up, 
Monster Hunter 4 has been announced for release in spring 2013, also known as when all of Japan will disappear from the world, like Brigadoon. Hmm.